Hey YouTubers and RV fans, so I wanted to let you know that I had a mouse in my rig. So I watched a couple of videos about, you know, mice in the um, RV and I took some moderate precautions, you know, I mean, I keep the rig clean and, you know, I do all the things you're supposed to do. I don't keep food around or anything like that. I opened the dresser drawer here and on my socks were some black pellets. I didn't really know what they were until I looked at them and I thought, oh, that's mouse droppings. So I knew there was a mouse in here and the same in the other drawer. So what I did is I took everything out and I ended up putting a mouse trap in here, which didn't yield anything. And I'll show you what kind of mouse trap I used. So before I tell you about the mouse trap itself, um, the RV park's been a little bit overgrown in terms of um, the uh, grass. So today I mowed and uh, our neighbors have mowed over here but mouse entered here through my basement area and then ended up going up in through here now i do have a small opening under the bed but truthfully i don't think the mouse went in under the bed i think the mouse followed the um water lines throughout the house so anyway make a long story short what i did is i purchased a decon um mouse killer and I put some cheese in it and set the bait and I put one here in the basement and I put one in the house or in the side of the rig well this one here in the basement actually caught the mouse within a few hours so I have one here just in case one decides to come and visit me again just in case but I've also mowed out here so you got to mow your own areas in terms of you know with your stuff around so the area is all nice and mowed and looks good. So hopefully that'll keep some of the mice away. But the reality of it is, is that, you know, with a class A, you know, there's a lot of entry points. So I'm not quite sure how to make sure that my entry points are all closed. The mouse is gone. So I think as an RVer, I think you need to be prepared for the possibility of having a mouse in your rig. Um, we're out at these campsites and sometimes and especially those who are out in the in the wilderness areas you know it's a safe secure place especially if there's a lot of rain especially if there's food around and those types of things so i think the lessons that i've learned from it are make sure that the rig is clean which my rig is usually very clean with the exception of dog hairs which needs to be vacuumed every day the garbage i take out every day so there's no garbage standing and there's no dishes most of the time um and I think also too to prepare your rig with certain types of deterrents like the Brillo pads and some of the other suggestions that you'll see here on YouTube um, but I have to tell you that product that I'm using to kill the mouse to kill the mouse worked really good and the mouse is gone so and then of course all the cleanup afterwards really a pain but anyway the mouse is gone I figured I'd, I figured I'd share with you that uh, I had a mouse and now it's gone all right guys Take care and have a great day.